Hello guys and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the Go High Level platform. For Go High Level platform, I'll take you step by step and show you how to perform simple tasks on this platform. For those who don't know about the platform, it's simply a platform which combines uh, and, uh, different tools to help the client. This can include a sales funnel, a CRM, and many other tools, guys. So you don't have to go into various other platforms um, while you're dealing with a, with a client. So this is like an all-in-one platform here. And there's been so many good reviews about it. As you can see right here, it's got um, various agencies use it right now. And it can manage a lot of clients when you're using it here. You can see here it's got a sales funnel. Can capture the leads, nurture the leads, and close eventually, which is very good. Which is what every business really wants to do. I'm going to show you guys in this video how to navigate the platform step by step. I'm going to show you how to perform simple tasks on it. So stay tuned. If it's while you're watching, guys, you're in the right place. Okay, so let's look down in this platform. You can see right here, you can go ahead and read all these details here, but I've done it for you already. I can tell you that it's just telling you exactly what it's all about. Uh, what they're offering to you in this platform they call it all in one platform all right so when you scroll down guys the most important deal is here membership how do you start if you're already a member obviously you can go up and say log into application but if it's your very first time then that's okay i'm going to show you how to get in to this um this platform so it, when you scroll down to the platform down 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 you go down right down it shows you the various levels of membership before which you can see here all they're offering you here yeah, they're offering you all these features right here the go high level has all these costs and products workflow automations all these platforms here which is what if you use jira you know that jira gives you some of this but not all these features but this um this program or this software gives you all these features I just mentioned the go high level tool is available on the google and also the apple store you can download the app for yourself which is very good you want to have um, the app on your phone and manage your clients while you're on the go you have that chance as well okay so if you look right here it tells you that there are three levels of membership here the agency starter account the agency unlimited account and also we have here where it says the white label mobile app plus custom zap upgrade okay at different prices as you can see right here the cheapest one here is the 97 dollars per month which is the one i would say you should go for for a start to see how it suits you and your team before you um you upgrade to other levels of membership right so guys we are going to begin with this one but we're going to start with a 14 day trial this application or software gives you the chance to use it for 14 days without paying a dime um so that's really good um so what you have to do is that you have to enter these details right here click on the button that says 14 day trial and see where it takes you click right there and you go to this level here where it says here start your 14 day trial uh, your 14 day free trial today you can enter your company name your full name your, your address your phone number then you go to step two in step two here i've already been through this i'm going to tell you how it looks in step two you'll be given a page and, and on that page you'll be shown you'll be shown um, um a video a welcome video by one of the staff of um go high level they're going to also try to upsell you they tell you to migrate to pay a one-time fee and have the system and which is more expensive i would say to you you don't have to opt into that at all just proceed Okay, you see the button there that says no, I don't need it. Click on the button that says no, I don't need it. It's somewhere below on that page. Click right there and you go to the next stage, which now allows you to enter your details and then have your free trial running. Okay, so when you do all that, what you find is an account that looks just like this. Okay, looks just like this. Right. This is what you find. Right. So let's begin by telling you. Uh, um understanding the platform what it looks like and what it has on the left on the top sorry on the top side here the top you have a white bar here and you have these buttons right here these four buttons right here this is the the chain log or the announcement section where you have if you click right there you can see right here these are updates from the developers and from um, the platform here so you can actually look at this and know exactly what changes have been made to the platform which helps you as a user to 
use those changes and also be able to you know um, maximize the platform right the next one here is the recent activities here this like gives you an alert an alert of what you have running let's say you booked a meeting you have some clients you need to speak to you have a text message from somebody else from a team member you see all those here as pop-ups you know just to um, help you stay um, stay abreast of what's what's going on the interactions on the platform that you have running okay so that is for this one and then this one is the help section here you're able to navigate and also troubleshoot you're able to ask questions here they have a live chat here they also have a call um high level support right here so you're able to chat and ask them questions about how what your experience is about the platform and how they can improve it for you so this is very important i would say if you're a starter you can go into all these um, uh, welcome course or onboard video tutorials this can help you a lot get started when you start with the platform now the platform looks like this as you can see and when you go to the right the top right corner you can see right here the um, where it gives it states my name right here here is the, if you click right there it tells you you're able to sign out through this button so that's how you sign out in this video obviously we're not signing out but that's how you sign out okay so if you go to the left side you can see launchpad the launchpad is simply like this page here as you can see right here in this page and i'm showing you the pages like this because i need you to know how the original website looks like i don't know if there are any clones out there but just so you know that this is how it looks like right so clearly here you can see here you can connect your facebook to the crm you can connect your stripe as well for those who don't know Stripe is a means of payment, okay? So you can link it on the platform as well in this launch pad. Looking to the left corner again, you can see the next is your dashboard. The dashboard here, you can see right here, it gives you sort of a snapshot of what's going on on the platform for you. It tells you the opportunities you have, it tells you the pipeline value, the conversion rate, you know, it tells you all that. Okay, it tells you here the, the phone calls, the SMS, and the manual actions that are, those that are pending. It tells you that right here. And the number is stated in the circle uh, shapes here. Okay, for now, we all have zero because this is a brand new account I've just opened. This account looks this way and less cluttered because of um, because it's a new account, obviously, and it's not for a business. It's just for demonstration. So you can see exactly how it looks. But normally, for a real business, you would have you'd have a lot going on here, you have a lot going on, you have opportunities, you have, you know, pipeline value, conversion rate and all that, right? So, for, like I said, it's a new account, all right? And it's not for, it's just for our practice. Looking on the left bar as well, you can see um, the conversions here, conversions you've made so far, you can see manual actions, you can see your templates, you can see your trigger links here, you can see all these here, depending on depending on the needs of the business okay so that's how it looks in a nutshell and then looking here so you can see messages right that you've received on, on the platform guys this is a is a brand new platform i've just started the account so there's nothing here all right so here is the calendar section here you can see i've got some calendars running here i'm going to show you exactly how to start the calendar how to also book an appointment here in this video so just stay tuned i'm going like next you can see the contact here obviously it's contact here this this is like the contacts that you have on the platform here that you've entered yourself or that you've, you've imported i'm going to show you how to import how to export um contacts and how to add a contact to the platform very simply i will also show you how to view separate columns in the platform which is very important as well here you have opportunities here as you know um your business opportunities are registered here as you can see here this will pipeline is here now not every business may have this but if you do have those uh these uh, um, um some opportunities you see them right here um listed right here with the dates and all that with all these details stated so and you can clearly go here to the drop down and modify any one you want to to see those that were won those that were lost as well that were abandoned you can see all as well so that's how you can manipulate all these columns here when you have data in here to see different fields and you know reason that you can refine the fields that you see okay then going next here this is the payment section here it tells you that you can connect payment means here at this point here um, it says here stripe connect 
is not found okay so clearly because it's a new account and nothing has been connected so you can connect any any um, means of payment right here and it will be registered for you you can see here you can find your orders here your transactions here your products your tax settings your integrations here you can see all these here you can see like i said to you, you can integrate paypal here and strap here so that just makes it easier for you to accept payment and also make payments on the platform as you guys can see that so far this is looking like an all-in-one platform and there is even more i'm going to show you okay so if you go right here here is marketing let's keep this you can see here manage your social media in one place this is amazing guys you can connect all these here on this platform which is very very good and um, you don't want to keep going to um social media to like uh to post and come back here you can link this and also be able to make your post from here this is obvious guys this is amazing okay so here automation here this is where you can see your workflows a workflow is simply a process by which you know things are done let's see um, a workflow can be in various steps let's say you can open a ticket you close the ticket you can open a ticket review a ticket you can put work in progress and all that it's like a jira you know style style arrangement right but you decide the workflow that you want here you can build a workflow to see exactly the steps or the progress you want a task to go through before it goes to the end okay that's the workflow okay uh, step by step you know um, um graduation or if you want to say um um, a step by step progression of work of work stages and processes that's what a workflow is all about okay now here you have sites here like i told you in this um, platform you're able to create sales funnels that's very important and what's a sales funnel for those who don't know i'm going to show you in a moment all right so let's just take an example here okay this is a this is all a previous work sorry I'm going to take an example and show you what the sales funnel is all about all right you can google it and find out for yourself but i just thought to inform you what it's all about because a lot of people have have um, encountered that but they still don't know what it's all about so i'm going to show you what a sales funnel is okay so let's do something like this okay let's do this let me show you what it's all about the sales funnel let's say we delete all this old information here on this board and get a new board for ourselves okay now have a new board okay and let's let's write okay so um what i mean by a sales funnel is this is a sales funnel right for those who have heard of click funnels before that's about the most popular one about that so this is a sales funnel right like a funnel ship right this is a funnel a funnel ships normally like this right like this this is a funnel shape a triangle right you pour water in here and the water flows down out here that's a funnel okay so that's a typical funnel so what this is all about is this is a sales funnel here it allows you to be able to no just an error it, it allows you to be able to capture leads here leads let's refer to leads as prospective buyers okay as prospects or leads right let's say leads let's call them leads all right if you capture people let's say you meet them for the first time you're able to market your product to them okay at this first stage here and then if they agree or they're happy with you they can call you for a second meeting here you call them prospects let's say prospects at this stage you discuss the amount they're about to spend on your product and then you have various stages here you lead them through until they are converted at this stage here this is where you get the conversion okay that's what is called a sales funnel like in a very simple you know as a very simple or layman um a way of putting it this is what the sales funnel is all about here a funnel uh, tells you a graduation of of or, you know or progression of 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 prospects or leads into conversion okay tells you how the lead progresses down the stage here so a sales funnel is able to tell you or with this platform you can you can create a, a sales funnel so what, what happens is but the funnel you're able to send emails to the clients the clients can respond and you can actually it can track this process for you you can able you know, at various stages you can send various emails to the client and you know have a back and forth through and through until the the, the, uh, the client is converted becomes uh, becomes a customer at this point here which is down the bottom right here at this point here you're able to 
at various stages sorry you're able to sell anything to the client at various stages here so it's all up to you and based on how you want your sales funnel to work out but that's what is called a sales funnel the most popular one i think about now is click funnels you know that they're everywhere on the web right but there are other ones as well they are all called lead generation devices right um yeah they're all lead generation and lead conversion devices that's what they're called in general so this was called a sales funnel okay so let's go back to business okay so that's what you're able to create here as you can see right here you can make a new funnel right here right and then you can get a template if you want to here this is the template li library so because there are various um businesses and business styles they have various temp uh, templates that um that cater to the various business styles so that's just for you to know that they have a sales funnel here on the platform if you go down here you can see reputation reporting you know this is all these are all things here google ads here you can see guys this is really impressive guys guys this is actually an all-in-one platform i haven't seen any platform yet that's got all these in one so this is like a very complete system that helps you build build towards achieving a customer and keeping your customer so as you can see right here you're able to even launch ads on the platform here and monitor your ads very important monitor the the, the impressions the clicks the conversions which is very very good it says here you're viewing sample data so these are all sample data right just what this tells you exactly what your account will look like eventually when you start with them so that is how this platform looks on the outside let's talk about very simple tasks that we can perform on the platform let's go back to um to launchpad all right the very first um, page we were on before so guys you can choose to connect to your facebook if you want to here okay got it you can do that right here it's led me to uh facebook here to connect my facebook i'm gonna say i don't want to do that so i'm gonna say cancel out but you can see guys by clicking on the button here you can it takes you to facebook to um and is asking you to connect your facebook that's fantastic <laughs> okay so um if you want as well you can decide to go to um stripe to connect your stripe payment system guys we don't have stripe on this on this um on this um on this video so we cannot connect it but you can click right here and it helps you it goes to stripe and says we want to connect your stripe for you you see there you go you can enter your email here your Stripe email here and get connected but that is not what we're doing in this video so we'll proceed so the same goes for all these other ones here. you can always connect anything you want to connect here uh, right and for those who are look asking for the um the the application you can download them on any of the platforms on the google platform on the apple platform you can download the application very easily search by saying go high level or use the word high level you'll find the application that looks just like this with this with this logo right here and you can download it okay so next stage is a dashboard here guys this is a, a snapshot of what's going on in the system and so we cannot really alter anything here all we can do is we can only see what we are up to at this point so right now we don't have any phone calls no sms that's why it's all zero if you go right here see conversions we have no conversions there's no data here but now let's talk about contact okay contact contact how do we create a contact it's a very it's a very simple process guys to make a contact you can see these are all contacts here contacts are simply they could be clients it could be even um clients within the business or outside the business it all depends so you create contacts here you can simply import contacts as well by bringing them into the system and putting them you know in the various uh, columns where they belong or uh, where the details belong you can do that by various means i'm going to show you in this video so to make a contact simply go here and click on add contact you see ask for the first name last name email phone number the contact type the lead you know ask you for all these details you see if this is a lead you stay the lead if it's a customer say a customer okay so the difference is that the lead is simply someone that is being is being led at the primary level of the funnel okay someone that has been introduced to the product okay is a lead right someone who is likely to buy is a lead right but somebody who is already a customer has already bought the is already using the product that is the difference okay so this is the time zone here 
this is very good guys because you would have customers that are not within your time zone so you can actually um, put their time zone in this box here to choose their time zone here you can see all the time zones pretty much here so that's very fantastic for me i feel like this is looking by every second we go into it like an all in one platform fantastic if you ask me i think i'm loving this and you should too so here you can now um, you can put um anything you want here you can tick this box if you want to you know if you know um if you these are all the channels that i guess you don't use or you don't want to use you know you can tick all these right here all right uh so that is what it's all about so you can save it when you're done here and you can see once you save it here it reflects right here so i've already saved these ones like a um, practice one just to have a look at the system because it's also um, um it's also new as you can see right here is a new account so this is what it looks like here so normally like i said guys this is uh, for practice purposes but to be honest if you have a business or if you're working with a business you'd have this pretty much filled up for you because except if your duty is to enter contacts you know if it's your job role you'd have them blank and they enter it from scratch but normally you would have this entered for you and if you're a private business person definitely you will be responsible for doing the, this all by yourself entering leads entering contacts and all that it's going to be on you so guys when you enter the contact and you're happy with the contact you entered what you can do is you can view the details of the contact here let's say you want to see here the only one two three four five six columns here you can increase the columns you see here by going here you click on the column section here and choose the details that you want to see obviously you can't you can't negotiate um choosing um the name you have to see the name i believe every client should have a name or every yeah should have a name basically if it's a business or an individual it should have a name so you can choose the name here created here you can choose um the, e the email the last activity phone details the tags the address the you know when you choose more if you, if you choose more um more columns here it expands and shows you more details as you can see right here let's see we choose all these details here okay and we're happy with this we can see here that we had a few columns before but now we have more columns if you go to the right you can see that there are more columns created which is fantastic if you ask me okay so that's the way it looks okay so this is how you create a contact now what if you decide to email a contact you can go through here to email a contact it's very simple simply go right here and click on the email section to email that's it bruno eo you can click right here and say it says email you go right here you can enter the email of the individual guys these details are not correct they're just like practice details so don't bother calling the line don't bother send an email here because you get nothing okay so <laughs> just let you know all right so this is where you can email or call or text the person if you want to okay so this is how it looks here you can send a you can send sms right here send an email brrr. say oh yeah say say hi you say welcome oh my god you say hi you see once you send it guys it goes immediately it's like a chat how fantastic here it says unsuccessful because that is not a real phone number yes it's not a real phone number so you can go here and say okay um uh, you can say um welcome to the the platform welcome to the business okay you can do this and you can click on send and it goes immediately once again it's going to be unsuccessful you know because this is not a real phone number normally it should connect and it should be transmitted to the individual as a text message and here it says email you can also email your um, your contact by typing your email right here your email right here and then you click on you click on send and it sends to the email that is in this box right here if for any reason you want to alter the email here obviously you can do that right here you can put andy at yahoo.com and send your email but i don't see why you should do this here because the the customer has an email already so use the email for the customer which is this email that is staring at you at this point so that's how you text and email a customer or a client and um or rather a contact on your contact list in the platform so let's go back here 
Now we know how to email or contact, how to text a, con a contact. There's also how to call a contact right here. And the good thing is that you see here, it registers as last activity. It was one minute ago. There you go. That's the value of seeing all these columns here. So you can have a look at this quickly and tell that this was the time I last contacted or last um, the last activity I had with this contact. That's very good, guys. You don't want to have to scroll through and look for it. So you can see it here in this column. That's the reason why you have to open you know, the columns to see more columns and be able to tell what the details are looking at it on the screen without having to go into the contact. Okay, that looks okay. Now, let's say we decide to um, import contacts. What does importing mean? Um, what does it mean? Sorry. So, when I say, I say importing, what I mean here is a lot of people know that already. But for those who don't know what importing means, so it simply means where you're able to transmit into the system, right? Transmit data into the system. If we're importing contacts, what that means is that we are transmitting contacts, okay? Contacts into the system, okay? Into the system. That's what it simply means, right? So that is what we mean by importing. A way of entering contacts into the system without having to put them manually, right? It's more automatic. Let's say you have a spreadsheet of contacts, you can transmit them into the system, right? That is important. Normally, the system requires that you have to fill out a few fields. So make sure beforehand that those contacts on the spreadsheet they have those fields that are required. Like there has to be a name there, okay? Like we said, we cannot negotiate the name, right? But make sure it has adequate information before you transmit into the system because the system has a template, okay? It has a template. A template is simply a style, a style by which things um, things are entered or arranged. That is a template. So that's what it, it, uh, we mean by um, when we say import. Okay, we say import, transmit into the system. Okay, so let's go back to our uh, and let me show you how to um, to import into the system. Here you can see right here. This is where I feel like the 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 the, the platform. You know begins to look a little bit weird i'll tell you why now every arrow of a platform needs to be representative of the action right this clearly here is supposed to be an export you see the arrow goes up and out it's supposed to be an export and this is supposed to be an import but here it's reversed you have an export and an import here so i think that's the google high level style maybe or that's an error i have no idea but these little things here help me understand what does the designers are up to and what they're giving heed to at this point it's a new platform or fairly new platforms so i would say maybe it's their plan maybe it's a new style i have no idea but i think that in the future we would have to revisit this but these are small things that really matter so if you decide to import and um, contacts to the system use this button right here it says import contact click right there and you can import a file you can upload a file here and then it maps and then details are recorded okay that's how you import um contacts here so obviously this is going to be all csv file types right like I said to you, all have to be I mean, in CSV file format. Now, the system, the reason I said that is because, or they say that's because the system has a template with the work with and it accepts only CSV files. Now, I would say in the future, hopefully, they are able to uh, accommodate more file formats, but that would be something that they have, they have to look into. I mean, the designers of um, of um, the, the developers of um, Go High Level. But I would say everybody has got an idea of a CSV file. So I think CSV at this point is absolutely fine. So let's go back here. Okay. So guys, this, this is like a, a walkthrough as well as a review. Just to let you know what my thoughts are on the platform, which is very important, I believe. So this is also the export contact here. So export a contact. What this means, guys, is let's go back to our drawing board. So a contact to be exported is, is a contact to be exported is. The export simply means let's say contact okay contact this simply means a contact to be okay a contact to be exported it means sent out of the system right out it doesn't mean deleting it no it simply means that it is moved out of the system okay moved out okay moved out so that's what it means to be exported 
like you can see guys let's say you want to you want to be able to see see um, get a spreadsheet of all your contacts what you simply do is you go right here and you highlight what you want to export here and you click on export export and it exports this as a csv if i click on export now i'm going to show you there you go you can see here that it exports it as a csv file here so in this csv file i expect to see the details that i exported let's open it and have a quick look there you go you can see right here this is the export file you see it gives you the contact id of every every um, every customer or contact detail here it tells you as well the name the email just to let you know it can only export what is already there it, can, it cannot export something that's new let's say if they had no um, phone number previously you would not see a phone number you see if they had no no email you would not see an email here this is very important to note because don't expect to see what you don't have that's obvious right and the good thing is that it exports even all the tabs that are not filled out okay just so that you can enter them here okay and if you like you can import them later but that's up to you guys but the good thing is that you know that this can be exported right so let's go back to our platform so guys how will you delete a contact from the system it's very simple click on one of these right here by this you're highlighting and you're selecting the record you want to delete and you go here and say delete right so that is how you delete on the system right so fantastic guys we're not going to delete right here so we're going to check that and proceed okay so these are like simple tasks you can perform on the platform which is very important which are very important and i think like um, you should um go through and master this for yourself um so that's important let's go to um the payment section here we talked about this already guys if you have a stripe account you can connect the stripe account to this okay go here integrations and you connect to paypal a paypal let's see it says paypal i've got paypal it says here when you connect right when you connect this is the amount that's going to cost you to connect so clearly this is um this is a different service but is in one platform right it's very important guys the good thing is that you're able to manage all this from one system one umbrella this is fantastic for me i feel like it's it's helpful because it saves time you don't want to go across you know systems or or on the platforms to you know do very small tasks so that's why i feel like this is um very good okay so let's, let's proceed this is stripe as well if you want to connect stripe you know you, you can do it right here i don't have a stripe account right now so i don't think i'll be connecting to stripe all right but if you do guys please connect okay so that's how it looks when you try to connect and uh <clears throat> there's more guys let's go to site okay sites right here uh sites and guys we're going to talk about calendars again okay, how to book appointments as well so stay tuned right so this is sites yeah like i said to you you can create different funnels okay let's go to um the 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 um, the, uh, the template library like i said to you guys this is arranged this way because there are various business styles and models and every style is different some are like a book business some like a, a food business you know the various various categories and genres of businesses so this helps you or niches of i think i'll, I'll call them niches right of businesses but this helps you be able to like um look at the various templates that they have and choose the one that suits your category okay let's say you have an accounting firm this is what they have for you if you have an agency there's a template here yeah, but if you're a lawyer you know or you know, a barrister right if you're if you're um if you're if you're um, a banker right if you work in the bank this is what you want to see as a template right i'm not saying you cannot be a banker and use the one for construction but the thing is that these have been tried and tested and they have been seen to appeal more to those in construction than those in coaching and those in chiropractic right so this is this is how you can you can put all this together and make sense of the platform so if you're um, a dentist here there you go you have a different layout for you let's have a look at the template here for dentists right you can see that these are all the templates for dentists yeah as you can see guys the good things are these these templates guys are known to work they are known to convert so you don't want to use the template that is not on this list here you can make your own template right from the scratch if you want um from scratch if you want but i wouldn't advise that i'll advise you to use one of these because they have been they've been um well sorry they've been well tested right and they work so why not use them 
So that's my take on um, using platforms. So um, this is how you can choose the exact, the exact um, sort of um, the exact um, template for your funnel, your sales funnel, right? So let's have a look at this one. There you go. It's a different template altogether. It gives you your logo here, you know, about services team and all that. So this helps you to, you know, to capture your leads, right, and convert them into customers. Like I said, guys, this has been tested and it's trusted. If you go for click um, here to um, uh, see a live preview, you can click right there and it shows you a live preview of what the site looks like. This is the site and this is what it looks like. How amazing is this, guys? This is already done for you. All you have to do is to enter your details right here. What you think you, should, you have pricing, enter right here. You enter, you, you can customize this page and make it look like something that you, you know, you're happy with, right? So, amazing guys, amazing. You know, kudos to um, to to um, go high level for doing this. This is really going to be helpful for, for a lot of businesses. So if we go back, okay, let's go back to the funnels. Let's go back to templates. Let's go back. So as you guys can all see, I'm going back by clicking here and not here. I'd click right here to go back. It's better for you than click here. Right. So going back on um, the steps we took. Uh, right. You can see right here, there's a chat widget here. There is a website here. You can see right here, they, they have also websites for you guys. Guys, to be honest, I haven't seen any platform yet, which is this, you know, this encompassing this huge with all these tools to, to use for businesses so i would say the go high level is a, is the place to go if you really want to have everything in one so this is the website section here um here you can have websites there's different there's also a template library which shows you various styles here you can watch the video if you want to but i'm not going to watch it for um, copyright reasons um so if you go down here you can see that these are also different websites as well for various businesses okay so this is yoga, solar, roofing, restaurants, this is physical therapy, this is plumbing, this is in, in real estate, and this is like, there's so many things guys to do here. So let's look at plumbing. Let's see the websites that are available here. These are all websites, um, website templates for you. Let's go to this one. It looks quite colorful. Um, Plumber X, there you go. You can see uh, expertise you can trust, boom. It's a website, guys. Guys, this is what the cost, if you ask me. It is worth the cost because if you have a real business, this will be a very good way to manage your business and have everything, you know, in one platform or under one umbrella. So this is very good. So let's go back, guys. Now we know it has a website. We know it has um, templates for websites and also for sales funnels. Uh, so, <clears throat> guys, perhaps you're asking, why do I need to have a sales funnel and a website? Now, the thing is, uh, it depends on your needs. You may want to like, do some postings on a website, like, uh, you know, some blog postings on a website. But using a sales funnel, guys, is mainly for capturing your leads. So it presents the information of your website, like a summary, just so that the leads are able to gain all the knowledge they need to gain and also make a decision on whether to buy a product or not. So various funnels can have various products in of the same website. So you can be selling... Um, um, you can sell one product on one sales funnel and another product on another sales funnel. The same way you can sell one service on one sales funnel and another service on a different sales funnel. That's the way it works, guys. So a website is not quite a sales funnel, right? A sales funnel can be presented in a website format or template, but a sales funnel is a sales funnel and a website is a website, right? Okay, so you can, you've can you heard of um, opt-in websites, right? Those are actually sales funnels, but they're called opt-in websites. But it's up to you guys. Whatever word you use to describe it, it simply means um, there's a sales funnel and this website. These are not the same. Okay, so let's go down here and see. These are forms here. These are surveys, guys. Guys, you don't have to use all this, but for any business that's expanding, with time you be you begin to use all these features step by step. So it's okay to have them. It's fine. Let's go here too. Um, reputation here and reporting here so these are all details that you have on the platform that you can actually do and see when you have real data running here so we don't have any google's ad running so we're fine here we can leave all this okay so 
let's talk about the dashboard um let's go to sorry the uh, the calendars right this is where we need to show you a few things that you can do to schedule or book an appointment let's say you want to book an appointment the first thing you have to do guys is to add a calendar before you can book an appointment now let's give you an example right so if you go to book an appointment right here right you can you have to have you also have to have a contact to book an appointment right let's say you want to book an appointment with this contact here james okay and then we do all this we set our time zone we tell we set the date we set the slot we set um, the custom here to choose exactly the start and the end time if we want to we set the appointment table here i'm sorry the appointment title sorry and we add let's say we say uh, business let's see let's say we add we say business uh business i keep writing d <laughs> business okay oh my god business updates let's say we say that okay and that's the meeting we can try to add more notes in the meeting let's say we want to describe the meeting um or the book or the appointment by saying um say um agenda okay agenda for the meeting right if we do all this right and we say book appointment it won't go forward it will not book an appointment because we did not select a calendar as you can see right here the calendar section is blank it says select right so we need to be able to create a calendar before we go into booking an appointment. So <clears throat> the first thing you have to do guys is to make sure that you create a calendar. Okay. So how do you create a calendar? Go to calendars right here. As you can see right here, these are all calendars that I have. I have um, two calendars right here, the new, cal new calendar and the test calendar. All right. <clears throat> right. So let's go into um, to make a new calendar, right? Let's go into settings right here. Settings right here. It says here a new calendar. Okay. So let's go to this new calendar, right? You can add a new calendar altogether. Let's say want to add. Let's say want to call this. Um, <coughs> want to call this. Um, let's say uh, test two, right? Test two calendar, right? I want to add a description right here. You can say this. <coughs> this calendar will be used <coughs> for booking and so it gets my throat really hot one second all right so to book a, um, um an appointment guys like we just said that right, you go to add the calendar i think i just clicked off that so you add the name of the calendar you add the description you add the appointment title you add the meeting location you know and you go down here and you can also add the event color let's say it's red let's say it's all these colors here you can add anyone you want and then you make an event calendar so when you're done you click on now uh, save and continue and then um um you can save and continue you know you keep going that way until you have your calendar ready so right now it needs a calendar name right here and we don't have a name for it so that's the reason why it's um, not saving but let's say we had a name let's say we entered them um, test two right test two Okay, let's do this and we say save and continue it goes next stage and next stage and it's able to it's able to save so that's how it works guys and then you say complete and once it's complete you can see that this is your test to calendar right here so it's true this that you can book an appointment so this is my calendar right here the new one i created and this is how you create a new one right so you have to before you're able to book an appointment you have to go through a calendar okay let's open this one this is a calendar right here as you can see date format and everything right here so you have to create this before you can book an appointment so if you go back to where it says book appointment right you have to choose the calendar that you want to book let's say you want to book in test two choose right here and this is telling you the date and the time the current date and time right the time right now and the date is the one highlighted right here the 17th uh or the saturday and if you observe carefully this is telling you the time in the us because this is not my current time right now i'm about um two hours ahead of this so i understand i'm actually three hours ahead of this but yeah so but what you can do guys is to click on the area you want to book let's talk about booking okay so if you click right here nothing happens nothing happens click here double click here nothing happens because you cannot book in the past that's obvious right 
so if you go to the the current time here or the current day rather the current day right here or you go further you can book an appointment let's say you want to book an appointment for today right this is all showing today right and various times today right so let's so this is all for one day right and these are various times going down this way these are different days right so if you want to book on like for tomorrow you go here it shows you <coughs> the next day shows you sunday monday tuesday wednesday it shows you the date range that's right here so let's say you want to book for the 19th right the 19th that's a monday we can go right here and double click on any of this um bars here any of these um these cells here these cells indicates one hour time frame frames as you can see right here seven to eight eight to nine nine to ten let's say you want to book for um, nine to ten right see this is nine nine thirty you can see book appointment <coughs> involving this contact and then you can state here the exact time frame we want let's say because by default it says um, 9 to 9 30. let's say it's an hours meeting we want to say 9 to uh, 10 o'clock okay 9 to 10 o'clock we want a one hour time slot for our meeting right so this is a one hour time slot right so that's okay that's settled you can choose that the, the title right here and put um let's say we want to say um uh, business needs meeting and they can add here more notes by putting the agenda of the meeting or for the meeting right here agenda or oh, issues to discuss let's say we're going to discuss uh we're going to discuss um lead generation generation we're going to talk about sales targets okay so this is like how you can arrange the um additional notes in the um booking tab just so that you can once you look at it you're able to see exactly what the meeting is all about because you're going to have tons of meetings as a business person right so you, once you do that guys you can book an appointment you can go right here you can choose a calendar right here you can see a um, new test let's say we're going to go to test calendar i'm going to choose here book appointment so that's the appointment book as you can see right here right so this still says and 99.30 we can actually click right here click back in there let's see what we can do click right here okay this is obviously booked already so let's let's go down to uh let's go back to um today so normally guys you should be able to edit that appointment if you observe carefully so let's go to the correct calendar this is where the meeting exists because we booked we booked the meeting on the calendar that says and uh, test not the test to the test right so we can click right here see double click right here and this is the meeting see it's already con um, confirmed so this is how the meeting appears when you book um you can go here and view your appointments okay this is uh, all our appointments have been booked you can see right here the one the one that was just booked now it says lead generation and all that so you can see sales target these are this is the um the meeting that we just uh, booked here you can save here confirm the meeting or you can cancel the meeting you can even schedule the meeting as well you can render the, the meeting invalid it's all up to you guys so that, that's how you do it so if you want to let's say go ahead and delete the meeting this is how you delete the meeting if you want to edit the meeting or sorry want to um reschedule the meeting you can go here and click on reschedule okay and here it takes you into the meeting here and you can reschedule the meeting so you can see right here it gives you a blurry a blurry screen to do the and to do the work that's okay that's okay let's say we reschedule the meeting for the 21st or 20th end time it's going to be like a, a two-day meeting right or one day meeting so when you do that guys you can do that and save appointments see that's how you do it so as you can see right here i have um i've changed the details of the meeting and um, that's how it looks right here this is the date that the meeting was added and this is the requested time of the meeting the, the the start time of the meeting right so that's how you can edit a meeting or reschedule a meeting if you're looking to do that so it tells you here we have moved appointment reports on that reporting tab click here to navigate so this is a very good system because it communicates with you the the user and tells you exactly what to do and what um where you can find some details if they're not clearly stated here or displayed 
So that's a very good system if you ask me. And the most important thing for this about this rather is that you're able to find the system, sorry, you're able to find the tools you need all under one umbrella. That is important. You don't want to go searching for various things here and there. You want to go to Facebook, go to Facebook, come back to either the platform. You want to go to Instagram, go to Instagram, come back to Instagram to the platform. You want to have everything in one platform just so you can click left right and find your um, details the way you want them so that is the sort of advantage of the go high level platform and i hope this video was helpful guys it was quite a long video and but very helpful guys in the link i have attached uh, uh um, a link so in the description i've attached the link sorry that can help you um get the 14 day free trial uh, from um, go high level and i like to say that this is this free trial is very important for you to be able to make a decision on whether to use um, go high level or not but currently guys it is a 14 day trial all right guys this has been me Bruno E on this video and i hope you had a good time i hope you learned something i hope this was helpful at least to explain a few details to you to perform simple on how to perform simple tasks on a go high level all right so that's the video and it's a wrap thank you for watching don't forget to like share subscribe and i shall see you in my next video bye for now